What up, y'all? It's 313J, my man. I'm here to talk to y'all. Uh, Marvin Jones got put on injured reserve for the Lions. Also, Jamal Agnew is working on a return. Now, Marvin Jones getting put on injured reserve, to me, must mean he's really hurt. And uh, shout out to him because, I mean, I know we might have wanted him to play, but he thought he should get a second opinion on the injury because it didn't feel right to him, and that turned out to maybe be the best thing for his health. Whatever. He's gone. Uh, another <laughs> another weapon that ain't going to return for, uh, for the team. I mean, but Jamal Agnew. Jamal Agnew, Jamal Agnew. That would that would be a nice return for the the to the team. Um, we got the Rams on Sunday. I'm gonna tell you this: we gonna win? No. Um, what the Lions are gonna do is make it very competitive. Make it very very competitive. Watch to the point you gonna believe. We really gonna be sure we win the game. And at the end of the game, they'll probably lose somehow. Um. But, you know, if Agnew came back, it could it could propel us to winning, but you know, who cares? Y'all don't niggas no niggas basically said season is over, so they don't even care about winning games no more. They just like tank and just lose. And you know, a part of me never under like going to the playoffs is everything when it comes to winning a championship, but just cause you don't go to the playoffs doesn't mean the season was garbage and terrible. Like, I mean, you look at the, I mean, because we going to the playoffs and lost. So, like, <laughs> what, what's the difference? <laughs> um, last year, 2017, that was a, a weird year. But we were 9-7, and seven, man. I like winning records, man. Hey, we're 4 and seven. We went out having a winning record. I would love that. But I said this looks like a seven and nine to I said a seven and nine and nine or seventeen. We probably gonna be seven and nine. But you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping we ain't gonna get that six and ten because that's just terrible. But but uh, I mean <laughs> seven and nine I know better, but six and ten is even worse. But um, back but yeah so yeah I'm not we'll we'll compete with the Rams, and then we'll lose at the end of the game. Probably, probably defense get exposed on a huge sixty yard play or some shit. It's just classic shit. Um, because the team isn't that good right now as a whole. Uh, but Jim, I would like for Jamal Agnew to return. People want Carry On Johnson to sit out. There. Like, I just, I can't, get, I can't ride with this, bro. I cannot ride with this because shit is bad. Give up mentality. I'm sorry. If you if I roll if people roll like that the Giants would have never made the wild card at nine and seven and won the Super Bowl. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like I'm not riding with that shit. I'm gonna just take the L's, take the bad season on the head, and like keep going, man. Because like they like well tank the season for draft picks and don't even put Carry On out there because he gonna get hurt and like. <sighs> Put it like this. What I'm saying to y'all is this. Just because the season is over, don't mean it's not things that we can't build on so next season will be great. We need carrying out. We need this team just got together, bro. We we still have a lot of things we building on. That's why I love to see the defense playing better the last two weeks. I want to see the defense play better throughout all of the rest of these games. That's what I want to see. And like I need to see the offense. I don't care if we lose the games. I need to see. I need to see improvement. Like first of all, Jim Barcooters here, but so it's hard to get improvement with that. But you know, it is what it is. Marvin Jones is out. You know, um, Jamal Agnew is coming. You know, talking about a return. Maybe if he returned on Sunday, that him if him and Carry On returned on Sunday, that would be freaking huge. Probably ain't gonna have no in the Lions because our whole team injured and rattled right now. I'm so sick of like the last three years at the end of the season has been the same thing, or November, December has been the same thing. And you know, somebody said we got a Barry Sanders curse on us. I mean, we had the Bobby Lane curse, you know, Stafford, you know, riddled that, you know, carry on gonna, gonna riddle the Barry Sanders curse. We're writing, we still got this Dom Mule back curse. 
Don Milbach is still on the team. He was the only one who went on 16, and we still got that on 16 stench on the team, and that's why we continue to lose and fail because he's on the team. Like you, hey, you go. On, he he needs to be off the team, bro. Don Milbach has has to go. But that's that's the other curse. But you know, um, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, even Jeopardy making fun of the Lions and shit. Jeopardy, bro, that's terrible. That that that's terrible. That's terrible. But uh, yeah, if Carry On and uh, Jamal return on Sunday, that would that would be a nice boost, you know. I don't know, like the Lions played much better against the teams, and you know the Rams. I mean, the Rams are fucking amazing. Like, what can I say? So. But uh, the Chiefs did show me that Ty Gurley can be stopped. We stopped him before, you know, a couple years ago. And I think he fucked us up one time, too, though. So, you know, he, he they showed me he can be stopped. And the Chiefs don't have no all-star defense. Our run defense is good. And I'm like, if, if Ty Gurley can be stopped, and, you know, we get carrying on agony back, maybe we can make this game competitive enough with them for us to feel good about it, even if we lose. Like, you know, if it's like a – I mean, I don't want to – I don't know if it's like a 37-36 game. I don't know. It's just something, something nice, man. You know, I know Stafford going to try his hardest to win this game, but the Rams are – Aaron Donald is there. <laughs> he probably going to merge. <laughs> no, nah, let me not let – me, let me stop, bro. But uh, I'm out, bro. I just wanted to give you all a little update. I'm really pissed that Marvin Jones is gone, though. But this is why the Lions organization is terrible, and – Y'all, y'all can blame whoever y'all want, man. Donnell Pumphrey, a weapon that Stafford could be using. Go look up Donnell Pumphrey highlights, and you probably go and have the same face I did. I don't understand why he isn't on the roster. He's a receiver. He's a running back. We need both. He He's very fast, has hands. He's tough. But he not on the team, and there's probably three other players that's like not on like the, their their evaluation of talent. I just don't under, like the best players on the practice. Jace Billingsley isn't he on our practice squad? Like why are these people not on the team? We got Nick fucking Belor playing wide receiver, and y'all expecting success? Like Matt Patricia would rather have Nick Belor play wide receiver than bring up Jace Billingsley. I don't know if Jace is still on the practice squad, but. They bring up a Jace Billingsley or a Donald Pumphrey. Are you fucking man? I'm gone, bro. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. I'm out y'all. Uh, shout out DBE, man. I'm out, bro.